Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. Here's a quick way to add a little Noel to any space in your home. Take the Dollar Tree platters and a can of white spray paint. Spray paint four of them white. You can use all the same shape and sizes if you want. Take stencils. These are five inch stencils as well as some glitter paper. I'm using the chunky glitter. Purchase it from Hobby Lobby at 40% off. You can also find the stencils there for 40% off using your coupon. I've had these for a while. I turned the stencils over before I placed them on the back of the paper. Now I'm using an inexpensive scotch tape to secure my stencils to the back of the paper. Now this paper is $1.99 regular price. You will only need one sheet of it for just four letters and the glitter stays in place guys. It's not all over the place. Now use a dark pencil or marker to trace your stencil. You want to make sure you see your cut line. To center the letters, it's pretty easy. There's a floral design in the center of each of these platters. Just line up your letter right there around the center of that design and you're good to go. Now you can use your hot glue gun to secure the letters to the platter or you can use a little Mod Podge. Either way, it's going to work out fine. Now these little darlings were in my Christmas tote and I don't know exactly where I got them from, but they're perfect just to add a little accent to the letters. I love that, that's really pretty. I added a little paper clip to the back of the platter right there in the very center. And I hung them on the wall using push pins and one of those gold ribbons that you use to add a tag to your gift wrap. This is very pretty and simple. I would love to see it done with black chalk paint and white lettering. Be really pretty for a vintage Christmas. And you can also use different formations. For instance, I'm doing horizontal, but you might want to do vertical or rectangular. It's solely up to you. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you will consider doing so today. Now, you can also get a sneak preview of videos to come by checking out my Instagram page. And for my church members and friends, I know you're watching on Facebook. And I will be posting there as well. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.